Field trials were developed to test the working ability of all breeds of gun dog. They have been held since 1865 and significantly influenced the selection and breeding of these working gun dogs. In the last five years, 65,000 gun dogs have been registered in Scotland and there are 22 registered Scottish societies and many more societies that hold trials in Scotland. The proposed hunting with dogs bill would significantly impact the way that field trials, rough shooting and training was conducted in Scotland. The requirement to use dogs to flush rabbits with a gun is essential for rough shooting, field trials and for pest control. Field trials, shooting and the gun dog championships bring significant income to the rural economy and it is vital that these events can continue. We've seen the unintended consequences of the bill for the likes of Spaniel field trials um, and there are also implications for rough shooting too. Uh, rough shooting uh, takes place um, with a mixed quarry and often using more than two dogs and this would fall under the scope of the bill. This would not be allowed to take place even though the rest of the day's bag would be birds. This has further consequences in the sense that rough shooting is often an activity enjoyed by people who don't have access to game shooting, pheasant shooting, partridge shooting on a commercial basis and want to enjoy going out with their gun dogs and shooting across farmland or wherever it may be up in uplands too. So we've got to look at what the implications of this bill are in terms of it starts to have unintended consequences for various aspects of management across the countryside and in our uplands. I've been competing with dogs, spaniels and retrievers uh, since 1984. Before competing, uh, I had dogs and just went rough shooting with them. That, that was a big part of my life. We, we moved into the competition side, which still involves the rough shooting to train the dogs to get them to competition level. We have to be out there because that is where the dogs learn to do their job when we're out rough shooting. And without the rough shooting, we would not get these dogs to the levels where we need to compete with them. The Scottish Government say that shooting could replace hunting with dogs. This simply isn't the case. Dogs are used as a wide-ranging control measure. They're part of a toolbox that have to be utilised and have to be available to land managers. You can see it's a beautiful, beautiful part of the country. Um, we're all up here together enjoying the fresh air, enjoying the countryside, working with our dogs, um, what they were bred to do. There's nothing better. Just know each other. We're a community. It's that, that sense of connection that, you, that I think we all need for our own mental well-being. It gives me a bit of downtime because my day job is I'm an A&E consultant so it's something totally different when you're out working with the dogs in the countryside you can't really think of anything else and you're totally in the moment. I grew up in a mining village in Fife, ordinary working family and at that time in the, the 70s and the early 80s everybody had a spaniel and it just progressed there was about well that's 34 years now I've been running dogs in spaniel trials. I uh, was a joiner to trade um, and um, my uncle had a dairy farm and there used to be a, a lad came up uh, the weekends and we, he would take us out shooting, mostly to control rabbits. Uh, my uncle's dairy farm had a lot of crops and that type of thing, so it was important to try and keep them at a manageable level. Well really, if you can go and see the type of terrain we're in just now, visually you're not going to see the, the volume of rabbits or the weight of rabbits that's on the ground. And these dogs have been bred over the years to go and work the wind properly and to locate the, the, the rabbits and flush them for the gun in a safe manner so they're not allowed to chase, they're just only allowed to be, to be flushed and the other thing is, is if they are chasing they don't allow the gun to have a safe shot. Unlike a field trial, when, when we're out rough shooting there could be three, four, five people in line all with spaniels or two spaniels apiece, one at heel and we, we walk up rough ground, rushes, we've done quite a lot in forestry plantations where people have wanted the rabbits clearing but not been able to because there's no, no fences. We're doing a service to you know, the farmers and the people of the plantations. The rough shooting that we, that we all take part in, there is lots and lots of people that go rough shooting and there's little family shoots where father, son, grandfather all go out, they all go rough shooting together, two or three farms all join together and they, they have a little shoot, uh, probably only three or four times a year, but they still go out and they have a rough shoot and it is all part of their, their life, how they're brought up and to actually stop them being able to rough shoot with, with the Spaniels and their Spaniels probably live in the house, you know, they may well have two or, two or three each or everybody has a Spaniel. 
and they, they go out and they actually hunt them to, hunt them together so with the hunting bill as it is where no more than two dogs can be used it would greatly affect not not just people who go field trialing but people in every walk of life you know farmers as right, right up from well from builders from dustbin men you know right through to doctors you know every everybody who partakes in rough shooting comes from every walk of life